whenever I talk about creating an environment for open, honest communication, when do you ask the questions? Where do you ask the questions, right? So for instance, like I said, I don't want to answer these questions right out of right after school. So give your kids time to decompress. Do you want to do it over dinner? Do you want to do it after dinner? Do you want to do it in their room? Do you want to do it in the living room? I mean, those all are factors that contribute to safety, psychological safety around these questions. So when, where, how do you approach it? Creating an authentic interaction where your child doesn't feel like if they share certain information, it'll be confidential, perhaps between you and the parents. It will be, not, there'll be no judgment or criticism or punishment or consequences. So these are all critical aspects of the conversation. If, if my son doesn't do something that I want him to do, then it gives us an opportunity to talk about a different way to do it as opposed to being punitive and punishing him for it. But these are things, again, to open up the flow of conversation and to take a, a very open-ended, difficult question like, how was your day? and make it easier to digest for the recipient, in this case, your son or daughter. When I talk to Cole, I will share things that happen in my day. So if I had a negative interaction with someone, and I share that I had that interaction and how it made me feel, then Cole's takeaway from that interaction is, okay, so if I have a negative interaction with someone at school, it doesn't make me bad or wrong. It's something that Cole can relate to because I was vulnerable as a parent and shared my interaction.